Welcome to your American Red Cross WIC program. This is the online portion of your WIC orientation. You will need to watch this 20-minute video and then answer several questions after the video. When you are done, you will be given further instructions. I must emphasize that this does not automatically make you eligible for WIC. You must still come into one of our WIC offices to complete your enrollment and especially to have us check your income eligibility for WIC. Let's get started. Today you will learn what WIC offers, how to choose WIC foods, what to do at the checkout stand, as well as your rights and responsibilities. At your appointment in your WIC office, we will verify your income eligibility for WIC. You'll complete paperwork, see a nutrition counselor, and if eligible, receive your WIC checks. Let's start by watching a three-minute video about WIC benefits and services. Welcome to WIC. <laughs> Welcome to WIC. Welcome to WIC. Welcome to WIC. Welcome to WIC. Hi, I'm Mariella. On behalf of everyone at WIC, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are returning to WIC, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about all the special services that WIC has to offer. But before we do, let's go over the basics. First, WIC stands for women, infants, and children. And it's for pregnant women, or new moms, babies, and children up to their fifth birthday. WIC benefits are also available to dads, grandparents, and foster parents for the children they are raising. To get WIC benefits, your family must live in the area served by your WIC office and meet the income limits. Many working families are surprised that they can qualify for WIC. We just ask you to bring your baby or child to the WIC office, show us your personal identification, your proof of income, and proof of address. Our staff is here to support you and answer your questions about nutrition, breastfeeding, and parenting. We invite moms, dads, and caretakers to come to WIC with their children and learn more about staying healthy. You may already know that WIC gives you checks to buy nutritious foods. However, we have a lot more to offer. Let's look at some of the ways that WIC can help you and your family stay healthy and active. WIC offers group classes. Here you can have fun learning new things. There's a lot of information out there on nutrition and parenting, and we can help you choose what's best for you and your family. WIC encourages breastfeeding. You'll find out how important breastfeeding is for you and your baby. We can teach you how to breastfeed, answer your questions, and offer lots of support. WIC offers individual education. At your appointment, we'll find out what your needs are and answer your questions. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Our WIC staff can put you in touch with other programs or services that you may need, such as medical care, immunizations, family planning, housing, transportation, treatment programs for drug, alcohol, or tobacco use, and programs for prevention of family violence. We can also help you find the nearest food stamp office or food bank. WIC has been helping families for over 30 years and has offices all over the country and on military bases throughout the world. So if you move, we can put you in touch with the closest office to you. Just remember that you can only get checks from one WIC office at a time. If you have any questions, please ask your WIC staff. Remember, we care about you and your family. It's a good program. <laughs> you like the program? Yeah. Great. Welcome to WIC. Welcome to WIC. Welcome to WIC. That was an overview of general WIC services. Let me show you the nutrition education you can expect at WIC. WIC offers a wide variety of nutrition education. And as you can see, we have different sessions for pregnant women, parents of babies, and parents of children. We welcome family and friends to your WIC appointments. And when you meet with your counselor, he or she will discuss your nutrition education options with you. You'll receive an appointment reminder at every WIC appointment. And let me show you what a reminder slip looks like. 
This reminder tells you what type of appointment you will have, what the topic is, and who or what you will need to bring, as well as if iron test results are needed. Our participants and staff have suggested we also share these friendly reminders. Please keep your children close to you at all times, bring quiet toys for your children, and enjoy your food and drink outside of our offices. And if at any time, if you or your child is sick or you cannot come to your appointment, please just call us to discuss your options. We ask that you always be on time for your appointments and always plan on your WIC appointments to take at least one hour. Can We Help is our list of community resources and includes our phone number, 1-800-500-6411. You will receive this resource with your enrollment paperwork or from your counselor. You can also find us on our sandiegowic.org website. Let's take a look at our website. You'll notice lots of great information on there. You can look up things like breastfeeding, nutrition, referrals, and really important, there is a place where you can contact us. You just call us at 1-800-500-6411, or you just click here and can email us. Now let's find out about your WIC ID folder. Hi, I'm Anna. During the next few minutes, we're going to go over some important facts about shopping with your WIC checks. First, let's look at your California WIC identification folder. This is your identification for the WIC program, so be sure not to lose it. You must show your WIC ID folder at all WIC appointments and to the store cashier at the checkout stand. Your WIC ID folder has a place for your signature. If you want your child's other parent to be able to shop, talk with your WIC staff about where that parent should sign. Your WIC ID folder also has a place for the signature of your alternate. What is an alternate? An alternate is a person you choose who may go to your WIC appointment, pick up your checks, or shop for you. Be sure to have your alternate sign your WIC ID folder before going to the store. When you or your alternate shop with your WIC checks, the cashier will ask to see your WIC ID folder and will compare the signature on it to the signature on the check. Be sure to sign your name on the WIC ID folder and the checks in the same way. Remember to take your WIC ID folder with you when you go shopping. This is the only identification that you need to show when shopping with WIC checks. WIC is a supplemental food program, which means we do not give you all the food or formula your family needs. We give you checks for different foods that are especially healthy for pregnant and breastfeeding women, growing babies, and children. Some foods you may buy with your WIC checks are fruits and vegetables, milk, cheese, eggs, fruit juice and vegetable juice, canned fish, cereal, dried beans, peas, lentils, peanut butter, 100% whole wheat bread or other whole grains including corn or whole wheat tortillas, brown rice, oatmeal, barley or bulgur. So to review, the front of your WIC folder will include your family ID number. Also on the front of your folder will be our name and address, phone number and website information. And on the back of your folder will be your appointment, date and time. Always bring your folder or photo ID to your WIC appointments. Alternates need to be listed in our computer, have signed your WIC folder, and they must bring their own ID and your WIC folder to the appointments. Your counselor will ask you if there is anyone you want listed in the computer as an alternate. Also, WIC needs routine iron test results from your doctor, and your counselor will give you more information about that when you meet with him or her. Now we are going to talk about your WIC checks. This is the sign you will see if a store accepts WIC checks. Now let's take a closer look at a sample WIC check. Each check will have two dates, a first day to use and a last day to use. 
you can see on this sample WIC check that the first day to use is April 27, 2016. Of course, this is just a sample, but you would not be able to use this check before that date. And here we have circled the last day to use this sample check. The store will not be able to accept a check after this date. Be sure to look at the dates on your checks before you begin to shop. You may be receiving more than one month's worth of checks, and if you do, it's important to make sure that you're using the right checks for the right month. The foods you can purchase with each check are also listed on the check, as you can see here. Expect that you will be receiving different checks with different types of foods on them based on your nutrition needs. Also, the date of the correct shopping guide that will help you shop for the WIC foods will be listed on your check too. This box is where the cashier writes in the dollar amount of the foods that you've purchased with this check. Please remember that you must sign the check after the cashier fills in the dollar amount. And this is very important. Lost, stolen, or expired WIC checks cannot be replaced, so please keep them in a safe place. This is a picture of your WIC shopping guide. It is divided by the kinds of WIC foods and lists foods you can and cannot buy. You will have the opportunity to practice using this shopping guide after this video. A helpful tip is to, before you shop, look through your WIC checks and the shopping guide to plan what foods you may buy. No one can remember all the can and cannot buys without the help of the shopping guide. Please take it with you to the grocery store and keep it in your WIC ID folder. This next video clip describes your fruit and vegetable WIC check. WIC also gives you checks for fruits and vegetables. However, this is a different kind of check. The fruit and vegetable check is the only WIC check with a cash or dollar value. Let's take a closer look at it. Here's the cash value or dollar amount of the check. This means you can buy fruits and vegetables up to the dollar amount shown on the check. You can choose the fruits or vegetables you want from a variety of fresh, frozen, or canned. If your fruit and vegetables cost more than the amount on the check, you can pay the extra with your own money or EBT. If your fruits and vegetables cost less than the amount on the check, you cannot get change back. Let's see how this works. Hey, did you guys find everything you were looking for? Yes, thank you. I'm using my wig checks today. Oh, okay. So what are we going to do today? And all the dates are right. How's everything going today? Good. Okay, you well your eight dollar check came up to eight twenty one. Would you like to pay the difference or you want me to return one item? It's okay, I'll pay. Okay. Now remember, you need to sign your check exactly as you did on your WIC ID folder. Okay. Great. It's back to you. She's paying the extra money now because each check must be processed individually. Well, your other check was very close. Would you sign it for me, please? Thank you. Think of your fruit and vegetable check as a coupon for the dollar amount off the fruits and vegetables you're already buying. You don't have to get the exact amount on the check. You can pay the extra amount with cash or your EBT card. However, you will not get money back 
if you choose to spend less than the full amount listed on your check. And special offers are okay. For example, if you see a buy one, get one free, you can take advantage of that offer with the foods on your WIC checks. If you are pregnant or have an infant, your WIC counselor will talk with you about infant feeding, when to start solid foods, and other options available to you on the WIC program. So, it's important to know that your WIC folder plus your WIC checks plus the shopping guide will make for an easy shopping experience. This next video is about how to check out using your WIC checks. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good morning. How about yourself? We're Fine, great. Thank you. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yes, thank Good. you. We're shopping with our weight checks today. Oh, great. Can I see your checks, please? And we grouped our foods with, uh, by check. Thank you. That helps a lot. We also separated our WIC foods from our non-WIC foods. Good. And the dates are right. Can you sign your check for me, please? Yeah. Thank you. Can I see your week ID, too, please? Great. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thanks. Remember, the cashier compares the signature on your WIC ID folder with the signature on your check. Be sure to sign your WIC check just like you signed your name on your WIC ID folder. Thank you for shopping. We'll see you later. To make shopping with your WIC checks a positive experience, here are some things to remember. Before you shop, tear off only the checks that you're going to use at the store that day. If you get checks for more than one month, look at the dates to make sure the checks you're using are for the right month. Bring your WIC ID folder and shopping guide along with your checks to the store. If your child's other parent or your alternate shops for you, be sure they've signed the WIC ID folder and that they know how to shop for WIC foods. While you shop, Look at the checks and shopping guide to pick the WIC authorized foods and correct package sizes. Separate your WIC foods from other foods you're buying. At the checkout stand, group your WIC foods by each check. Tell the cashier right away you're using WIC checks and hand them your WIC ID folder and the checks. Following these two simple steps can make checkout faster and easier for both you and the cashier. After the cashier writes in the dollar amount, sign the check. Remember to sign the checks while the cashier is watching. The cashier will make sure the signature on the check matches the one on your WIC ID folder. If you have a problem at the grocery store, ask to talk to the store manager. If the problem cannot be worked out, call or go to your WIC office. That's it for shopping with your WIC checks. You will also get this pamphlet when you come into your WIC office. It has a copy of your rights and responsibilities, as well as answers to frequently asked questions. This is the form that you will sign. And as the video mentioned, if you have any questions, please ask your counselor before signing. In addition to our WIC program, the American Red Cross offers other services. This short video explains them.
This concludes the video portion of your WIC orientation. Please now continue to answer the questions that follow, and when you are done, you will be given further instructions.